I've spent the last few weeks trying out almost every white coding tool I could find specifically for building AI agents. Some are pure no code and some feel more like pair programming with an AI dev. So I'm going to walk you through the best ones ranked from beginners to pro based on what it's actually like to use them to build AI agents. But before we rank the tools, here's a quick 30 second premiere. White coding is when you build stuff with AI like applications, agent, workflow, but mostly by prompting. You don't sit and write those 300 line of code. You just tell the system what you want, hit run, and then course correct with prompts until it works. It's like coding by intuition. Basically, you skip the boilerplate and complex setups, but you still get real software out of it. This matter because a lot of business owner and creators and entrepreneurs want to build tools, but don't have the patience to learn Python from scratch. And honestly, you don't need to. With the right tool, you can launch prototypes, automate tasks, or even create mini products using just natural language. Now, before we start ranking, you have to understand one thing. Every tool sits somewhere in a spectrum. On one side, we have zero control, but super easy to use tools. On the other hand, we have full control, but be ready to debug your soul out. Most people fall somewhere in between. So instead of just ranking best to worst, I'll show you where each tool fit on that control spectrum and what type of builder it's actually made for. All right, let's start with the beginner friendly tools. Lovable is literally described in app and people build it. You type in something like a simple app that helps freelancers track invoices with reminder and it gives you a working UI and some little light logic scaffolding. It's got a super clean interface. You can edit basic stuff like text, layout and workflows without touching single line of code. What I love about Lovables is integrations are dead simple. Stripe, Superbase, all plug and play. You can preview and publish your application without deployments. It genuinely feels like a safe playground for non-technical people. You'll have to connect to GitHub if you want to export the full code, so it's not great for serious customizations. But for testing ideas, internal tools, or MVPs, it's honestly one of the most approachable ones. Bolt is for people who want slightly more control than lovable, but still want to write code. It feels like Notion, Zapier, and a lightweight IDE combined together. To describe your flow, like when a new customer signs up, send a Slack message and then add them to CRM and trigger a Stripe payment workflow. It wires that up across multiple tools. What's great about this is real-time Canva with editable logic block. You can edit some of the code directly, not much, but more than lovable. And deployment experience is super clean. It's best for solo founders with an ops mindset or people building custom dashboards, lead forms, or internal CRMs. Bolt works best when your use case involves a bunch of integrations, but if you are trying to build a standalone application from scratch, it can feel limiting. This is my most preferred tool in the list. It's not overwhelmingly techy, and in my opinion, it strikes the perfect balance between learning and building. Technically, it's a full coding platform. But with Ghostwriter and their new AI agent builders, you can describe what you want and it will generate working code, file structure, and even deployable backend. Here's what I love about Ripplet. You can actually see and edit the code, which is key for learning. Second is one-click deploys make it easy to test things live. That said, Ripplet is messy sometimes. You'll run into broken logic and edge cases when the AI output is half done, half wrong, and you'll need to step in. But honestly, that's kind of the point. It helps you to level up. If you are even slightly curious about how agents or backend work, this is a great playground. Now let's look at Tempo Labs. It sits right in the middle of the spectrum, not too technical, not too basic. It's very similar to Figma, but with AI that helps you build real applications. You can drag things around, adjust how your app looks, and still edit the logic behind it. It's visual, but also flexible. 
what's great about this is you can build UI like you are designing, not coding. You still get access to the code behind each component. AI helps you scaffold pages and connect logic. Compared to Lovable, it's way more customizable. And compared to Replit, it's way more approachable. The only downside is you cannot fully deploy apps yet. Just preview them, but they are working on it. Now we are shifting into the dev heavy side of the spectrum. Mimix is a cross-platform desktop application that feels like an AI copilot for building agent workflows. You start by describing a task like scrape product prices from three sites, compare them, and email me the cheapest one. Mimix takes that prompt and breaks it into steps. Fetch data, parse it, compare, and send email, and scaffold the files to run it. What's different is everything happens on your machine. The agent runs locally, the files stays with you, and you can inspect, edit, or rerun steps without touching the terminal. It's not a visual builder or full IDE, but sits in between letting you to build real workflows and automate tasks with AI without managing files or dependencies by yourself. Now let's look at VO Dev. This is not an app builder and it's not trying to be. This tool focuses entirely on front end, just the UI part. You type the prompt, say a dashboard with a search bar and user table, and it gives you a clean React and Tailwind code. There's no backend, no workflow, just UI ready to drop into your code base. That might sound limited, but it's actually really useful if you're building something from scratch. Instead of wasting time setting up your layout or designing every component, VO gives you a jump start. The output is production grade. Of course, if you are non-technical, this won't help you much. It's a code first. It's not a visual editor, no app logic, and no hosting. But for developers, it's a massive time saver. Best use when you want to skip boilerplate and get straight to building real features. Windsurf is a local first AI IDE with built-in memory and workflows. It's designed for serious builders who want full control and privacy. If you are building something long-term with sensitive data, this matters. The biggest differentiator is memory. Windsurf agents remember your project they don't have to re keep re-explaining what files does work and it understands the entire context and helps you build across multiple sessions. You can write new files, build flows, test logic, even spin up full backend structures. Of course, the trade-off is set up. You need to know how to run local environments, install dependencies, and manage bugs when they show up. So it's not plug and play like Lovable or Temp. Now let's look at Cursor. It's a polished cloud-based version of Windsurf built on top of VS Code with Cloud integrated. You can write code, refactor files, debug logic, and build new features just by prompting. It understands your full code base and helps you write real production code across multiple files. Unlike most tools in the list, Cursor does not abstract things away. It leans into code. So you'll need to know what you are doing or at least be willing to Google things when you get stuck. Compared to Windsurf, it's stable and approachable. You don't need to worry about setup or local configurations, but it's less private since everything runs in the cloud. Augment code is probably the most future-facing dev tool in this list. It's a full coding environment like Cursor or Ripple but it's built entirely around AI native workflows, not just code. You can have multiple agents working with you in real time who acts like teammates and can handle different things like backend, doc, or refactors. Compared to Cursor, it's more collaborative. It supports multiple agents in parallel, and it's optimized for real time ideas to shipping workflows. It's still early and sometimes buggy, but the team is shipping fast and it's already useful for building full stack applications with agent support. So that's the full spectrum. Where you land depends on how hands-on you want to and where you are on the builder spectrum. If you're just starting, don't worry about control, focus on launching insanely useful products. And if you have been building for a while, 
some of these tools will help you go faster with less friction. Let me know in the comments below which tool you are going to use or if there's something that I've missed. Do hit that subscribe button. See you there.